He gets one of two. Up ahead, Appleby. Another one coming. Too strong. They're cradling the rebound, and they are going to foul him with 22.6. Tyree Appleby got another great look, unable to knock that one down. But got a great look, the nice kick ahead pass from Cameron Hildreth. But still, 22.6, down five. A lot of time left remaining in this game. Miami's going to have to take care of their business at the free throw line. Wake Forest can afford for Miami to split when they get there. One and one here for Miller. 80% at the foul line for the year. And misfires. Appleby on the drive. That one tipped. High out for Clinton. Down to 11. Here's Williamson, a star yesterday. Can't get a shot away. Hildreth off the fake. A three. Hits it with 3.3 to go. A two-point game. The inbound for Poplar. They're going to foul him. With two seconds to go, Appleby has fouled out. But you got the shot you wanted. The only problem, it took so long to get it. Now with only two seconds remaining, Forrest, the Tyree Appleby fouling out of this game, gave it everything he had, 24 points for the first team all ACC performer. Man, did he hit some big shots. He hit big shots, he made big plays. He did everything Steve Forbes and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons could have asked of him throughout this game. So they added a little more time, 2.7. 74, 72 Miami looking to hang on and play their way into the semifinals here at the ACC tournament. What a comeback for Wake. Valiant effort from the Demon Deacons and it's not over yet. 2.7 seconds remaining. A miss at the free throw line gets them an opportunity for a tie. Wooga Poplar has not attempted a foul shot, but he's 89% at the line. Has not tried one yet today. 2.7 seconds to go. And it's in and out his car. Up Ed Williamson the heave. And that's the ball game. Miami does hang on. They're into the semifinals. Boy, when it's Williamson, you got to hold your breath because he won the game with a three yesterday. Miami wins it.